Hi guys and welcome to Dr K Explains It All, the YouTube channel that aims to educate you on your health journey and not only that but arm you with a barrel load of information so you can make better decisions about your health. We're in August and summer is now in full swing so us guys and gals are wearing tank tops, bikinis, strapless tops, halter necks and shedding the layers to expose bare skin except if you've got back knee, back acne. Those red or brown spots on hard to reach areas like your upper back. You can also get them on areas like the backs of your arms or your legs. They can be quite unsightly and quite tricky to treat. So without much ado, I'm going to crack on in this video and give you my top tips on how to get rid of back knee. So let's crack on. Let's understand that back knee has a similar cause to acne on other parts of the body, such as your face. It's due to a buildup of dead skin cells and oils, which clog up the pores. Mix that up with bacteria on the skin, which causes these blocked pores to then become inflamed. It's no wonder that you've got a recipe for disaster. So the treatment for back knee is pretty similar to treating facial acne and involves one, exfoliating to get rid of the dead skin cells and excess oils, and two, killing off the bacteria which causes infection and inflammation on the skin. Be careful with what sorts of fabrics come into contact with your skin and try and choose fabrics which are natural and breathable such as cotton and linen whenever possible. Exercise or workout clothing which is made of lightweight fabrics and is breathable is also fine. Synthetic fabrics such as polyester and viscose tend to trap sweat under the skin and this can worsen back knee. Wearing too tight or restrictive clothing on the back area can also make back knee worse. So if possible, try and avoid too tight tank tops that squeeze you really tight or bra straps, again, that rub or chafe on that area because this may also make your problems worse. One of the main things with back knee, which is slightly different to facial acne, is the buildup of sweat. Sweat can mix with bacteria and dead skin cells and clogs pores. Therefore, it's crucial to work out in clean clothes when you're at the gym or exercising and to at least change your workout clothes as quickly as possible after your workout if a full-on shower session is not possible. You may also want to carry with you a packet of wet wipes or baby wipes and just after, if you're not able to shower or quickly change your clothes, just wipe yourself as soon as possible to avoid the buildup of sweat on the skin. Our skin is changing all the time and just like lizards and reptiles, we're also shedding and getting rid of the oldest layer of skin. The only difference is that we don't shed our skin in large sheets like snakes do. I think that would be pretty disgusting. But instead, our skin goes through a cycle where it's constantly shedding and rebuilding. We need to help this process along. And areas such as your back or your legs may get less attention than areas such as your face or your arms. Because of it being in quite a hard to reach area, it can be more difficult washing the skin more thoroughly. I'd recommend getting a scrubber with an arm that's long enough so you can use it to reach your back and wash thoroughly. If you are using these scrubbers, it's important to check how long you've had yours and try and replace it regularly, once a month or every couple of months, if you can. There are a lot of products now available, more than ever before, to deal with back knee. And people are now recognizing that it is a serious health problem. So that means you don't have to often come to see a doctor. I would just recommend popping to your nearest drugstore or supermarket and checking out what they have on the shelves. The key ingredients to look out for are exfoliating agents such as salicylic acid, uh, salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, other things like 
glycolic acid can also be available. Certain brands do do them as well. They would normally come either as a wash to use in the shower or as a treatment or a gel to put on the area. It can be tricky trying to reach back and get at the skin, but a handy trick is you can go on Amazon or go to a chemist and look for lotion applicators. And they're usually designed for people that have difficulty in applying creams and things to areas such as your back. So that might be a way of getting around it. Or the simplest thing is to get somebody that you know, family or a loved one, just to apply it for you. You know, one good turn deserves another. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Another tip is that sometimes if there's quite a lot of infection and you can see a lot of postules um, on the skin and a few red and inflamed spots, is to try and use an antiseptic body wash. The most common one that we have contains the ingredients called chlorhexidine. This is normally used in operating rooms to get people ready for theatre, make sure that they kill off the skin of germs. So it might be worthwhile investing in that if the other ingredients I've suggested haven't worked for you. Leave it on for a few minutes and then rinse off. You may have to, with any of these things, when your back knee is really bad, maybe use it daily or every alternate days. And then when your back knee gets better, I would still use it as a maintenance treatment. And instead, you might be able to use it maybe once or twice a week as a long-term maintenance to stop the back knee coming back. My final point is the importance of following through with moisturising. Because if you think about it, what you've done is that you've stripped and exfoliated the top layer of skin. And what you've now revealed is the more sensitive and delicate, newer layer of skin. This layer of skin needs care and attention to stop it then getting inflamed. I know the tendency is to just keep the skin dry because we think we don't want to clog up or block these pores, but by moisturising, with a suitable emollient or a cream after you've washed your skin and cleansed it, helps to keep the skin moist and supple. And again, gets it ready for those tank tops and revealing items of clothing that you want to wear in the summer. So that's it guys. Those are my top tips for getting rid of back knee. I hope you found it helpful and if you did, like and comment below. Even if you didn't find it helpful, then I would still like to hear from you. So comment and let me know in your own special way. As ever, I'll be releasing another video to this skin series next Sunday. So if you want to subscribe so you can be alerted on when I do so, then you know what to do. Click that button and let's get on with it. In the meantime, guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.